What's up HTubers, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be kicking off a multi-part series all about life without Google. So what's it like owning a HMS device, how do you get the most out of it and are there any drawbacks? So today we're going to be kicking off with the setting up of the device, so let's get into it. Okay guys, so the first thing that you want to do is select your language, then your region and this is the EULA agreement. This is the usage between both you and Huawei. Once you've read this, hit accept or next. The SIM card, I don't have one in there yet. This is just for the setup process. Now with Wi-Fi, definitely make sure that you're connected because we're gonna be setting up your Huawei ID and updating your phone. Now the data privacy is cool because it outlines how Huawei keeps your data safe and how it minimizes the need for that data to operate your phone. Once you've read this, press next. Right, so let's create this Huawei ID. Now the Huawei ID allows you to unlock all the functionality of your phone with things like your Huawei cloud services, your backup and your Huawei health. Now here you can see you create a Huawei ID and then you click on next or you go back and then you can log in through that. For the purposes of this video, we're gonna create a new Huawei ID. And this bit tells you what information is gonna be collected when you create this account. Let's click on next. And then it also asks you for certain permissions to create that account and click on agree. This bit's asking you about if uh, Huawei has any specific promotions, whether it can pass that information on to you. Right, so enter your date of birth here. Once you've done that, just press on next. And then you can set up the Huawei ID with either the email address or your phone number. I'm gonna do it through email address. Once you've done that, just set up a password and then hit next. It will ask you once again, just to confirm your phone number as a security to verify your ID in the future. Let's click later on this. You can put it in if you want to. And now we're gonna verify your email address. So go to your emails and you'll see an email that will look something like this. Click on verify and that will activate your account. Once you're done, go back to your setup device and then click on next to continue. The next portion of the setup will concentrate on the security aspect of your phone. So you'll be setting up your fingerprint ID and a password. This is useful obviously to keep the device secure, but also to protect your passwords when you are using them online. So first things first, enter a pin, and then it will allow you to set up your fingerprint. So whatever phone you have, just set up the fingerprint, making sure that you move your finger across the fingerprint reader multiple times and in different positions so that you get the best read and the most accurate read including all of the edges of your fingers too once that's done click on ok and then you'll have other options where you can set up things like your face recognition your enhanced services give you a better experience on your mobile device so things like wi-fi plus where it automatically switches between wi-fi and mobile data if your wi-fi signal is poor i personally activate all of them they're all very good make sure you hit enable here on software updates to keep your phone secure and with the latest features next you're going to want to import your data i'm going to be doing that from my previous device over here and what you're gonna need is an app called Phone Clone set up on both these devices. Now the new one will have that, but the old one, you just wanna make sure you download it from the relevant app store, whether it be from Apple or another Android. Then you wanna select move data from another device. Make sure you read the terms of service. Once you're happy, click on agree. And then you wanna select the old phone type. Now, whether it's Huawei, Android or iOS, Make sure you click on that. I'm going to be selecting Huawei today because that's what my old device is, the P30 Pro. Now, it will ask you for certain permissions to access your data and that's so it can safely transfer them across on from the old device to the new device. So just allow through all of those. Now, I've actually missed one of those, so it'll kick me out. So I'm going to go back in, enable the one that I didn't, and then it should show me this QR code. Now put that QR code down on the old device. You want to select that it is the old device. It will bring up the camera and then you just want to scan the QR code. And what this will do is it will automatically pair these phones together with the QR code so that you can start the transferring process. Once it's connected, you're going to get all the options of the kind of data that you want to transfer from your previous device. Now I'm going to select all and hit transfer. It's going to ask you for your pin. So make sure you put that in just for security and then hit go. 
Now here you can see I've just got an error, so make sure that when you are transferring data to your new device, you're not transferring more than the new device can actually handle. So my one was 256 gig, so I'm gonna go in and just unselect some of these things just for this video. And then hit transfer. And the cool thing about this process is it does provide a mirror backup when you transfer them from a Huawei to a Huawei. All of your information, including your images, videos, but also your settings and your home screen layout. So let's leave this to carry on and we'll pick back up once it's done. Okay guys, so we pick back up here with about one minute left for the data to import. And you did say previously it was gonna take 53 minutes. It only ended up taking half an hour. So it does pick up through this process. But what it's gonna do now is it's just gonna finish the importing process on the actual phone. So it's moved the data across and now it's just gonna start putting it all into the folders correctly, etc. So let's just let that run through the process and we'll pick back up. Now, once the process is done, it will give you a summary of what did and didn't transfer across. So having a little look, you can see some of these apps didn't move across for whatever reason. You can make a little note of it and then you can transfer them later, no problems. And then there's also a setting that didn't go across, which is the Huawei ID. But that's because obviously they're not logged on to the same Huawei ID. No problems. Click on finish and then it will walk you through the navigation gestures, which basically is swiping up from the bottom or either of the sides to navigate around the phone. I know this, so I'm just gonna pass through it. And then if you've tested it and you like it, run gestures. If not, you can still use the three key navigation that you're familiar with on Android. And that's it guys, you successfully set up your phone. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe. And the next video I do will be all about how to optimize this for the best experience. Thanks for watching.